Hi clan friends, welcome to the Bloom and Grow YouTube show. I am so lucky to be joined by Nick Pileggi of Philly Foliage and his amazing YouTube channel. We are going to talk Peperomia today. This is the propagation video portion of the Bloom and Grow live taping that happened here at Urban Jungle Philly. We are actually recording this right before the live taping, so we are, I am bursting with excitement about it. as well. It. <laughs> YouTube show. So Nick, we're sitting at a table full of peperomia. The thing that I think is so cool about peperomia, about peperomia is how varied everything is. Yes, that is my absolute favorite thing about it. As you can see on the table right here, we have a bunch of varieties. There are so many varieties of peperomia. There are well over a thousand. So I actually have just a very, very small sliver on the table right here. But there are so many, I am so excited to tell you guys all about them. My very favorite is watermelon peperomia because it looks like watermelon. It's one of my favorites as well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so will you take me through everything we've got so our wonderful viewers could maybe understand the different varieties? Absolutely, I'd be happy to. Okay. All right, I have stepped behind the camera. Here we have Nick. So Nick, will you kind of walk me through all of the amazing different peperomia we've got going on over here? Happily. So these two right here are okay. one of the more common varieties of peperomia you're going to find. They yes. are both in the species Peperomia clusii folia. Yes. This one right here is referred to as tricolor, while this one right here is called red margin. Mm -hmm. One of the easiest peperomias to care for. You can just absolutely forget about them. You don't need to water them any more than once a week. This one right here is a rather new one on the market, although it looks a little bit more plain to us. It's still very fun. This one is called Peperomia glabella. You can see all the, the rat tail yeah. like inflorescence popping up. You either love it the, or you hate it. Yeah. Those are the flowers, mm -hmm. right? Yes, those are. rat tails. They are. It's not really something that people appreciate as much as they should because they are just so lovely. <laughs> this one right here is one of my favorites. It is a type of Peperomia caparata. It's a rather new one on the market. This one is referred to as Peperomia pearl, as you can see from a bit of a, a pearl-like fluorescence. Of yeah. This. It's because. almost kind of like the watermelon pepperoni. Similar, yeah, very, very similar in the way that it grows too. And then Amazing. this one, this one right here is actually one of my favorites. Mm. This one is much more of a botanical garden version. So this one's called Peperomia trinervis. You can see those Ooh, crazy veins. Yeah, it almost looks like a nerve plant. Yes, very, very yeah. similar. Yeah, very, very similar. This one is one that wants to be in a little bit more light. Um, uh -huh. It's going to get some beautiful red on the back if you give it some really nice light. That is something that some of these peperomias will do, get some red when you give them some more light. So yeah. to a succulent. Um, this one right here, same as the glabella that we had up here, just a little baby version for you guys to kind of get some perspective from how small pepperomias can be to how large they can be. Yeah, and just the variety of their leaves. I know, the isn't shape. it wonderful? Yeah, it's They're, crazy. When there's over a thousand plants of a species, you're bound to get some variety, and that's why we love peperomias. These two right here are probably the most two popular peperomias yes. on the market. This one is commonly referred to as teardrop peperomia. Mm -hmm. It's known as peperomia polyvatria. Well, this one is Peperomia argyria, and it's commonly called watermelon My peperomia. Watermelon. As you can see, it gets these beautiful watermelon venations, and they are actually known to be one of the ones to get variegated rather easily. So you can see on this one right here, it does have a very small amount of white variegation. Yes. So that is a that. little freak thing that happens with these plants. I absolutely love it. Oh, they're so cute, and I love the teardrop guys oh, I too. Really love it. They kind of look like Pilea peperomia. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, yeah. that's something we will talk about in the podcast. In the that podcast. You guys should look out for. <laughs> yes. This one right here is a rather rare form of peperomia that you don't see very often. This one is called Peperomia rugosa. Mm. And it gets this gorgeous bronze color, and it has this lovely red on the back of the leaf. Wow. And so this plant has one that's been very cultivated by collectors lately. So okay. you might find some more rare versions of Peperomia rugosa. The one I'm thinking specifically of is called Peperomia pumpkin. So okay. that's one to look out for for any of you Peperomia collectors out there. And what about the guy next to it? This one right here is a more succulent version of Peperomia. Yeah. It is referred to, I'm not sure if this is the true name, but I know it as Peperomia axillaris. Okay. There is a similar, similar Peperomia that looks a little bit more uh, thicker and taco-y, if you will. Uh, okay. This one is called that one is called Peperomia dolibriformis. A little bit more common, but this one's a little bit more of a new sport. So it could be a cultivar, but I know it as Peperomia axillaris. This is one of the okay. Peperomias that can take some of the most light. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Back here is another one of the more common Peperomias. This one is known as Peperomia caparata, or the mm -hmm. ripple Peperomia from that rippled foliage that it gets. You can see some more of that rat tail -like inflorescence like there. This one is known as green bronze, so it's just got a nice green yeah, and bronze so tone dark. to it. Yeah. Uh, so this is a rather newer one of caparata. You would more typically see a more standard green one that they refer to as emerald ripple. 
Okay. Then these three right here are another one of the more common types yeah. of peperomia. They are peperomia obtusifolia. This is your standard obtusifolia right here. Well, this one is your more standard variegated version, and mm -hmm. this is the uh, one of the more uh, sought after or rare versions. It's called Golden Gate. So this Golden is a much Gate. more like beautiful type of obtusifolia, and it's definitely a plant that got me more into peperomia obtusifolia because. That's I me too. That was my first peperomia yes, I had. Yes, and yeah. So we see these peperomias very often at the garden center, but when they start to get some nice, you know, variation and variegation going to them, it really has a place in my heart. Oh yeah. Yes. And this beautiful one right yes. here. This is probably one of the more popular peperomias on the market as well. This one is called Peperomia Hope. This one's going to trail all over the place, and it's one of the peperomias that you can totally blast with full sun. Mm. Uh, we'll talk about it in the podcast, but most peperomias don't like as much light. But this is one that you can totally fry and it will love it and that is the crazy wild world of peperomia how about we take a little look at how to make more of these babies by propagating them thank you for that tour of all of these amazing peperomia now how do we make more of these babies what are your go-to ways they're super super easy to propagate if you can propagate your standard pothos you can propagate a peperomia in fact i okay. think it's a little bit more easier from the way i'm going to show you guys a little bit later but just like a pothos <laughs> you guys can propagate these simply from a stem cutting all you need to do is get a cutting right below the node and we have our little cutting right here. So peperomias are really special in the fact that they don't truly need a node to root. All right, so what is a node exactly? So typically a node is where you're going to see where the leaf or the petiole, which is the little stem where the leaf connects to the major stem. On most plants, if you guys are more familiar with apothos, you're gonna normally see a little nub there, but with these there is no nub, so you're gonna to have to use your better judgment and see where exactly that stem meets the, the main stem so it's like the knuckle kind yes. of yes so this little stem right here that connects it is called the petiole which you can also root the plants from but we're going to do this time a stem cutting so we're going to have the stem right here and we're simply going to place the stem in water peperomias are a little bit different in the fact that you do not need a node to propagate them so whether or not there is a node in contact with the water your peperomia should root pretty readily your peperomia should begin to root in about a week or two. It does depend on the time of year. In the summer, your peperomia will start to root probably a week or two, while if you cut it in the winter, it's probably gonna take about a full month. That makes sense because it's the growing season. Yes, exactly. Now, if I wanted to give it a little help, could I kind of pop you one off could. and a root will grow out of you there? You absolutely could, and you could even place that piece that you just ripped right. off in the water as well, and that will totally root as well, which is another way to propagate your plants, your peperomias, that we'll show you right now. Cut two. Yes. So I took two leaves off in hope to maybe instigate a little bit more root, root yes. growth there. Exactly. But now I've got these little leaves hanging out. Yes. So as I mentioned earlier, there is that section of the stem that we refer to as the petiole, which is where the little stem where the leaf connects to the main stem. In peperomias, this petiole can root very, very easily. So we have this peperomia tusifolia variegata right here. And there's also another similar peperomia. This one is referred to as peperomia caparata. This is another very easy one to propagate and you're tip, uh, simply just going to take a cutting of a leaf and leave that petiole on. And you're getting right at the bottom, right? right? at the bottom, okay, yeah. Cool. Whatever you leave on is probably just going to fall off and rot over time. So it's best to kind of get rid of any extra stem. So as long as we have that petiole, we can just simply stick this leaf and the petiole in the water and it should root in roughly about two weeks to a month, depending on the time of year. Oh man, Nick, I wish that we had an after shot since we have our before. Well, isn't that coincidental, Maria, because I just happen to have one right here. So oh my gosh. <laughs> this plant right here is another peperomia I have yet to share with you guys today. This is a peperomia that's a rather new one on the market. So this one is called Peperomia albovitata rana verde. It looks very, Oof. very similar to your common Pilea peperomioides. And as you can see right here, we actually have some leaves growing little on this babies. plant. These are little babies that just rooted in the water. Now, these leaves can stay underwater. They're not gonna rot. I know peperomias can rot a little easily if you overwater them. So water roots are completely different than soil roots. So you do not have to worry about the peperomia sitting in water too long. It's not gonna rot as long as it's a healthy leaf. You do need to use a healthy leaf when you take these cuttings because an unhealthy leaf will most surely rot. Okay, plant friends, you've got two different ways to propagate your peperomia. So if you happen to maybe do some propagation, please tag me and Nick on social media. Our links are in the bio. We want to see what you're propagating and what peperomia you're sharing with all your plant friends. And if you haven't checked out Nick's YouTube channel and his amazing Instagram account, you can find him at 
Philly Foliage on Instagram and on YouTube. At Nick Pileggi, uh, P-I-L-E-G-G-I. -I. I know it's a funky name, so. Pileggi. It's Italian. It is. Is it? It is. <laughs> no, I don't look it. It is. So. <laughs> All the links are in the notes. Keep blooming, keep growing. Thanks, okay. plant friends. Until next time. Hey plant friends, if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe below. Also, check out my podcast, Bloom and Grow Radio, with houseplant care tips and really interesting interviews with plant people all over the world. And follow me on Instagram. All of the links are in the show description below. Keep blooming and keep growing. Doom, do, 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 do,